I'm now going to talk about uh, what I called a level 2.5 disaster, which is about as bad as needing to revert back, um, but maybe a little bit worse. Aversion conflict actually is unlikely to happen if you are working by yourself on a single computer. However, uh, in the case where you're working on several computers or working with a collaborator, um, they could come up. So what I'm gonna demonstrate is what happens if I uh, create two versions on two different uh, computers that conflict. So I have this document that I've been working on in my repository here. And I'm just gonna open it up so I can pick up where I left off. So let's see, I was just thinking a little bit here. And I had some like really pretty good thoughts that I wanted to put down here. I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. So I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and commit this up to the master. So let's go ahead and commit that and push to the origin. Oh no, yeah, I remember now what happened. I was um, working on my other computer on this and I forgot when I started my work session to pull down the changes that I made. <sighs> okay, all right, well, let's, it says there are commits in the remote, I need to fetch those. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. So it says that I have a conflict between what's on GitHub and what's on my compute, computer here. And I can open this up in Atom and let's see what happens. So it's showing me that um, here's the uh, commit that I was trying to make on my computer here and here's the one that I made yesterday. So basically um, Adam is giving me a choice. Do I want to use our changes, that is the change on my local computer here, or their changes, which are the ones on GitHub. I think maybe the second one looks better. Let's click on use me. Go ahead and save that. All right, now there are no conflicts remaining. So let's go ahead and commit the merge. If I go back at my history, I can see that it's brought down the change from GitHub. It has put in my thoughts here, and then it's gone ahead and reconciled the two things. So if I look at the most recent version, it's the version that was originally on GitHub. If I go to GitHub online and take a look at the document, I can see that it has the changes that I selected when I was trying to resolve the merge conflict. And if I go back in the history, the previous commit before that is the one that I made on my other computer. And if I go back further, I can see the original document. So you'll notice that the conflicting change that I made today on my computer actually never made it into the uh, record on GitHub I, because I took that change out when I resolved the change on my local computer. So when you have a merge conflict, the, the, the winner of the conflict is the one that eventually ends up in the final record.